gate 2014 set 1 electrical question number 47 reading of the voltmeter this voltmeter as shown in the figure uh, is being asked so for NPTEL reference you can watch lecture number 25 mesh and nodal analysis with time varying source of the course network analysis by professor Tapush Kumar Bhattacharya department of electrical engineering RIT Kharagpur and for the lecture you can refer to this youtube link useful data you need to know normal you need to have normal knowledge of KVL that is Kirchhoff's voltage law which tells sum of voltage drop or gain across all elements in a circuit their sum is equal to zero coming to the solution the circuit given is like this 0.5 ohm so this is j1 and this is j1 this is minus j1 this is the current flowing it and the voltage across these two nodes there is a supply voltage is 100 sin omega t now you see that the impedance of these two branches are same and they are zero so zero parallel zero is zero because they are actually shorted like this and connected with this resistance so you can draw this equivalent circuit like this single connected via a single wire and then 0 0.5 ohm and 100 sin omega t now we can find this current i of t so i of t equal to 200 sin omega t that is v by r current is flowing in this branch and getting divided across these two so since these two are equal and equally likely then the current can split into equal parts the resistance being same and zero so it will go in two parts it by 2 and it by 2 100 sin omega t now for the first one this is the node let us say a and this is node b and the voltmeter is connected across these two nodes so you need to find potential of a and potential of b the potential of a if this is ground is given by the voltage drop across this g minus j1 so just multiply the current 100 sin omega t into minus j1 this much volts and similarly 100 sin omega t for b into this one j1 volts and therefore del v is the potential difference as well as the voltmeter reading va minus vb is given by minus 200 j sin omega t okay. vrms equal to 200 divided by root 2 equal to 141.42 volts so the voltmeter reading is 141.42 volts thank you